Hello everyone, welcome back to Neo Kills Gaming. How's everyone doing? Today we're going to be talking about how and where to get Sinistee and how to evolve it into Pulte Geist. And the two different types are, there are a common one and a rare one, and they both evolve differently. Now, you first come here to Stow on side. And then from here, you'll ride on up here. Go right through here. Now the best way to farm for Finisty, you come here to the Glimwood with Tangle. And uh, the best way to farm Finisty is just like in this patch right here. You want to get the, the random encounters. Here is where you will have the chance to uh, encounter Finisty. So we'll go ahead and fast forward until we encounter one. And we are back, and, and here you can see we encountered a Sinisty. It took a little while, but not too long. About three minutes or so. A couple encounters. So that wasn't too bad. We'll use a quick ball here and see if we can go ahead and catch this. Now there are two different types of Sinisty. There's a rare one, and there is a uh, common one. The authentic one, I'm not sure on the percentage rates for this. But they will have a different appearance. One way you can tell which one you have is by using the crackpot. The crackpot will only work on the common one. And uh, I guess we should have them in our party. The cracked one will only work on the common one. And you need the chipped pot to work on the authentic one. I'm going to show you where to get both of those here in just a moment. Alright, so we come here. So this is a common one because it's going to work with the cracked pot. And that's the first step. That's how you get Sinistee. That's how you evolve it into Pulte, guys. Now I'm going to show you where to get the cracked pot and where to get the chipped pot to evolve the one that you have. There's Poltergeist. So, if you um, if you take your time, you can uh, catch the rare one also. I actually do not have a chipped pot right now to evolve the rare one, but I'm gonna show you where to get it anyway. So the cracked pot, you can get one pretty easily because there is one out in the open. So if you come right here. Go up this ladder back in the stow on side. And right here is there there's gonna be a free um cracked pot right here on the Pokeball. That's where I got mine. And you can also get it from the daily bargain trader down here. And as you can see he has a cracked pot today. Now this is where you also get the chipped pot. I'm going to show you how to farm this as well. He gets a different bargain every day. So if you want to farm this, I keep my autosave um, turned off. It doesn't matter as much for this part here. But we're going to go ahead and save the game. Now for some reason, I did find something weird about this. You can see here, the next bargain, he's going to have the Reaper Cloth. So for tomorrow's deal, he will have the Reaper's Cloth. But if you come in here to the system, set, system settings, you go down to system, go down to date and time, and you change, or you turn this off right here, and then you change the date ahead one day. Hit OK. Now this is the weird part here. For some reason, while you are in town here, it will not work here. So see, he does not have the Reaper Cloth. It's still for tomorrow. And... At first, I thought they might have patched the date change anything, but it doesn't actually work like that. So if you come to the wild area here, and let's see if we can find a raid going on. There doesn't seem to be one nearby. 
but for some reason the date actually only affects the game while you are waiting in that waiting period. I'm sure many of you have seen the videos on how to farm for watts and how to put the date and time forward on that and how to change what max trades you're getting. But um, for some reason it seems that it actually only affects the game while you are inside that. I'm not entirely sure on the reason on that. I'm not finding a max raid here, so we're just going to actually go ahead and use a... Oh, wait, there is one up here. Came in sight just in time. So for those of you who do not know, we're going to use this to go ahead and skip the day forward one day. Because for some reason, as you saw, when I changed the date earlier, it did not have any effect on what item was um, being changed. So this method is actually going to take a little bit longer as far as changing um, and farming for the trader. But it still works. So if you come in here, it doesn't matter if you're on local or on internet connection. You come in here and you search for people to battle. And now you change the date. Just like that, just like we did earlier. And now you exit out of the raid. And you can see everything change. We can get the watts back again, just like you've seen in many videos with that. So now, and that's also how you um, change your max raids and if you throw in wishing stars and everything to use for your max raid battles, if, in case you did not already know. But that has been out for a while. I'm sure many people have heard that. So now you come back here. And now you can see he has today's bargain is the Reaper Cloth. And the next bargain is a Protector. And again, I'm not entirely sure why you actually have to be in that encounter for that to work. And I'll go ahead and I'll change the date again in here to show you it's not going to work because, but this is, he will sell the cracked or the chipped pot for the rare Palti guys. So come in here and we'll change the date one more time. And again, you can see that it's the Reaper cloth and the next bargain is still the protector. So in order to change that forward, you do need to be in a max raid encounter for whatever reason. So that's all there is to it though. That's how you get the crack pot, the chip pot, you can push that forward. That will be a little bit grindy in order to keep resetting him in order to get the whatever one you need, the chipped pot most likely because the cracked pot, um, you can get one for free at least. But that's all there is to it. That is how you get them if you get a rare um, Sinistee or a common one. And uh, again, thank you everybody for watching. And uh, again, I hope to see you all again soon. We are getting a lot closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. So if you'd go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, until next time, everyone. Thank you again.